Hello, in this video I'd like to go over the constraint grips available in the Rhino Whip. So what the constraint grips are is a way to manipulate a constraint sketch with your mouse. So in order to get to the constraint grips, you first need to have a sketch uh, with some curves or objects added to it. So in this case, I have a simple L-shaped sketch uh, with two online constraints and a few parallel constraints uh, to keep the general L shape. And in order to get to the constraint grips, the, the grips that are shown when you select a constrained object are the constraint grips. So if I go ahead and grab this point right here and start manipulating it, you can see that instead of the normal uh, just moving a line segment uh, preview that's showing, it's now showing the new constraint solution based on where you've moved the grip to. And then when you release, the entire system and all the objects update. Now, with this grip over here, you notice that this line here is pinned uh, with an online constraint to the y-axis. So if I start trying to drag this grip away, you notice that the constraints are drawn in red because in this configuration, it's violating the constraints and it's having trouble finding a solution. But when you release, it'll find the nearest solution to update and that's the way the objects will update. Now, if you don't like the auto points on, you can still get to the constraint grips by going over in the constraints panel, uh, selecting an object, and then double clicking it. And this, again, will bring up the constraint grips uh, so you can manipulate your sketch.